Today, everyone who retired on average social insurance will receive $1,827 per month, but $3,627 is the maximum amount. Practically, an average American's monthly living budget is normally between $2,800 and $4,200 per month. In contrast to, one can find this circumstance utterly overwhelming. However, more and more Americans are choosing to retire abroad and take advantage of the low cost of living offered by certain countries. But, as you can imagine, retiring abroad is no small feat, and finding the best countries to retire in can be even harder. So today, we're going to look at the best countries to retire on a small pension or social security. Make sure you watch this video to the end. If you're new to this YouTube channel, like this video and subscribe to this channel for more tips on financial education. Number 7. Panama Panama has a big expat population, one that only seems to be growing. Part of that is due to its generous retirement visa program, the Pensionado Visa. It's not only one of the easiest visas to apply for, but you get some pretty great benefits along with it like hotel, movie and theater discounts and certain tax exemptions. To apply, you need to be at least 18 and have proof of monthly income of at least $1,000 and pass security and health checks. For those of you looking for a more metropolitan experience with plenty of amenities, you might want to check out Panama City with a population of just under 2 million. If you're a couple, you can live here for about $3,000 per month if you're renting or as low as $1,500 per month if you choose to buy. Then there are beautiful coastal areas like Coronado, which has a significant expat population, an upscale beach town. Coronado has plenty of amenities like a country club, golf course, and shopping, and has an average annual temperature of a balmy 78 degrees Fahrenheit. However, I will note that it's slightly more expensive here than in other parts of the country. Number 6. Greece Greece has a couple of visa options to look into if you're considering retiring here. The first is a resident permit, which requires you to have proof of 24,000 euros or about 26,400 US dollars in your bank account. Alternatively, if you're still working, an income of about 2,000 euros each month is necessary. You also need proof of medical insurance. Another option is the Greece Golden Visa for non-European Union citizens. This is a five-year residency that you can earn if you buy Greek real estate. You can renew the visa after five years if you keep the property. This ultimately can put you on a path to citizenship, though I should note that you are expected to be fluent in Greek if you're looking to become a citizen. If you do decide to move here, there's a ton that awaits. For starters, there are 227 islands that are part of Greece, each filled with its own little microcosm of Greek culture. If you find yourself in Athens, there's lots of history and architecture, given that Athens is one of the oldest cities in the world, having been inhabited for over 3,000 years. This may be your own little slice of heaven if you're a history buff. When it comes to the cost of living, expect to spend about $1,830 per month, depending, of course, on where you live and what your lifestyle is. For reference, a one-bedroom in Athens will run you about $650 per month. Number 5. Indonesia Indonesia is another great spot for those who are looking to shed cold weather in their retirement years and move to a tropical island paradise. And by island paradise, I'm not kidding, you'll get your fair share of island life living here. Indonesia is home not only to its five major islands but also has 30 smaller archipelagos, which all together add up to 1810 islands and islets, 6,000 of which are inhabited. To get Indonesia's retirement visa, you need to meet a few eligibility requirements. The first is that you need to be at least 55 years old and prove that you have an income of at least $1,500 per month or $18,000 per year. You also need to sign a one-year housing agreement and provide proof of Indonesian health insurance. The final main requirement is maybe the most specific on this list. According to US News & World Report, the visa also stipulates that you need to hire an Indonesian housekeeper, driver, or other domestic worker. After a year with your visa, you can renew it. After five years, you have the option of turning it into a permanent visa that is valid for five years, 
and can be renewed an unlimited number of times. Number 4. Portugal For those of you who have always dreamed of living in Europe, retiring in Portugal may be your answer. The Portugal D7 visa, also known as a retirement visa or passive income visa, is likely the best way to do this. Started in 2007, this program is geared towards non-European Union citizens. The visa is initially valid for two years, after which you can renew it for another three. After five years, you will be able to apply for permanent residency. To be eligible for the initial visa, you need to stay in the country for 183 consecutive days per year or spend eight months per year there, with travel allowed in between. You also have to have a Portuguese bank account, prove that you have an income of at least about $775 per month, have health insurance, and provide proof that you have a long-term place to stay. In terms of cost of living, if you're living outside of Portugal's major cities or touristy areas, you should be able to get by on about $2,500 to $3,000 per month if you're a couple. Healthcare is also pretty affordable here, as a couple in their 60s S can expect to spend about $300 per month for an insurance plan. And while you're here, there's plenty to enjoy, ranging from Portugal's vibrant history of food and culture to easy proximity to the rest of Europe. Number 3. Belize located only about a two-hour flight from the southern United States, is a great option for those who are looking to retire in a tropical climate while still staying within proximity to the U.S. The good news is retiring in Belize is pretty straightforward, thanks to a program through the Belize Tourism Board called the Qualified Retirement Program. To be eligible, you need to be at least 45 years old and have a monthly income of at least $2,000 or an annual income of at least $24,000. Additionally, you'll need to deposit this money into a Belize bank, pass a security check through the Ministry of National Security, and agree to stay in the country for 30 consecutive days each year. The program isn't just for Americans. You can also qualify if you're coming from other approved countries, including Canada, parts of Europe, South American nations, and certain countries in the Asia-Pacific like Australia, China, Japan, South Korea, and more. If you decide to go through with a visa application, you'll have your fair share of affordable places to retire, Placencia and Ambergris. Key may be two of the most popular expat locations, with a two-bedroom apartment close to the beach in Placencia estimated to be about $1,200 to $1,500 per month. All in all, you can expect to spend about $2,400 per month here if you live alone and $3,000 per month if you're a couple. In addition to a relatively simple visa process and an affordable lifestyle, Belize's healthcare has been improving in recent years. However, you should know that you'll likely need to travel to a city like Belize City if you're looking for specialty healthcare. Number 2. Thailand if you move to Thailand, you can discover your very own tropical retirement paradise with its white sandy beaches, clear water, and palm trees. You may feel like you're living on a permanent vacation if you retire here. If you want to explore this as a retirement destination, look into the non-immigrant O visa. To qualify, you need to be at least 50 years old, have proof that you can deposit $22,000 into a Thai bank account and have a monthly income of at least $1,800. You also need to pass a security and health check. Once you have your visa, it's valid for a year, after which point you can renew it for an unlimited number of times. Beyond the visa process and the natural beauty of this country, Thailand is also known for being incredibly friendly to foreigners and has a high quality of medical care, all at a relatively affordable cost of living. One estimate, for instance, says that you can live a middle-class lifestyle in Thailand with anywhere from about $1,400 to $2,850 per month, with a two-bedroom condo or house running you about $640 per month on average. One of the most popular expat destinations is the quiet city of Chiang Mai, which is nestled in the mountains adjacent to several national parks. This is the perfect spot for nature lovers. For those looking to be closer to the beach, you might want to check out Koh Samui, which is considered another one of the best places for expats. Koh Samui has those scenic beaches you've probably seen on a postcard tropical weather year-round, 
and is only about an hour and a half flight to Bangkok, so it's accessible internationally. Number 1. Costa Rica Costa Rica is one of the most popular places for expats. About 70,000 American expats already live here, many of whom are retirees. The reasons for Costa Rica's popularity are too many to list, but they include friendly people, beautiful beaches, a stable government, affordable health care, and easy access to international travel. If you're thinking of retiring here, it may be easier than you think to get a two-year permit. You need to provide proof of a minimum monthly income of $1,000. That could be in the form of social security, a pension, retirement funds, or something else. You can renew the permit after it's expired, and after three years you'll have the opportunity to establish permanent residency. You also won't need to renounce your previous citizenship, which can be a big plus. That's not the only perk. The cost of living in Costa Rica is very affordable, and you can get by on about $2,000 to $3,000 per month, with rent ranging from $500 to $1,200 per month for a condo or a small home. Costa Rica also has one of the highest standards of living in all of Latin America, with plenty of quality restaurants, museums, shopping, and good internet access and cell phone coverage. Costa Rica is also known for having good health care, which can be an important consideration for many retirees. That's it for today. So, are you ready to make the most of your retirement with a small pension or social security? Let me know if you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to receive all the updates. This YouTube channel has got you covered. Also, make sure to leave a comment below if you have any questions about this video. See you next time.